channel. Today I finally filmed for you guys the look I told you I would in my previous video which I did first impressions on. So today I am using the NYX bronze glitter as well as the cork liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors which I am so so in love with. Um, so I told you guys I would pair these two in a video so this is what I came up with. It's a very dark and chocolatey you guys know I love my chocolates and browns colors, but it's incorporating glitter and it's a very, very dark and intense smoked lower lash line, which I'm not really used to. And I even extended my uh, liner a little bit in the inner corner, just a little bit because it's a little different for me. But if you guys like this makeup and you would like to see how you can recreate it, then just keep on watching. Hello everyone, we're going to start off by priming our eyes with my most used eye primer which is the CC Clay Tarte Eye Primer and we're going to use this as our base. You guys know I like this to color out, or excuse me, to um, even out my skin tone um, and discoloration of my eyelids and I like to blend that out with the warmth of my fingertips. And we're going to start off by working off of the Lorac Pro Mega 2 palette. We're going to take the color Custard to set all of that um, eye primer in place so that it's not very tacky or very slippery and everything blends out nicely. I'm taking this BH Cosmetic Fluffy Brush in the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee um, eyeshadows my transition and here I'm just working it back and forth. Um, from the outside of my lid all the way to the inner part and then we're going to move on with this color called Tangerine from the Sane palette. It's definitely just like a nice warm orange color and I wanted a little bit of a peekaboo orange in my eyelid so I'm just kind of working that in circular motions as you can see here. I'm not being very precise. I'm getting it even on the eyelid but it's okay because we're going to get glitter on that but I basically just build it up and I even pull my eyelid a little bit just to get it a little bit more flush and tight and then we're going to move onto the Morphe Brushes Palette with Jaclyn Hill. I'm taking that eyeshadow color. I'm so sorry. I don't know the name of it, but I know they sell them in singles. I'll try and investigate which one it is with the Sigma E25, I believe. And I'm starting from the outer part of my eye and working it inward. I'm not really going into my crease. I'm kind of going above my crease. I have very small eyelids, so create an illusion of a bigger eyelid. Um, I will run a deeper color and create my own crease above my natural one. And then once I have the intensity built up of that one, I like to go in with the same brush that I use for my transition shade and blend out those edges. Then we're taking Cocoa Bear with this Morphe. I believe it's a 522 brush. It's a little bit more dense and tapered than the E25. And I'm focusing this on the outside of the eye. We're going to go in with a deeper color in that area. So placing this Cocoa Bear, I feel like, helps the transition of lighter to darker colors. So just go ahead and focus that in a V section outside of your eye. And then um, slowly you want to blend in all those transition colors together and then I'm going in with the same Morphe palette by Jaclyn Hill and taking that nice orange and placing it just on the outer edges of the transition in my brow bone because I just wanted a little bit more orange in that section and then I'm taking this ColourPop Mittens I believe eyeshadow it's a really nice brown with a little bit of a red undertone and I'm focusing that with a really dense brush from e.l.f. on the outside of the eye in a V motion and then I go in with the Morphe M522 and blend it out again and once again go in with the BH Cosmetics and blend everything in together. Then for my brow highlight I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek and I'm focusing this on the brow bone area again with a e.l.f. brush and then I just flip the brush to its side and blend it in with my transition shade so I'm just building this up until it's nice and intense. Now we can safely move on to the glitter glue and I say that because lesson learned from my last video you want to do all of your matte eyeshadows or transitions or eyeshadows that are going to create dimension first then go in with your glitter last it just blends out a lot easier and you're less likely to get glitter everywhere so I'm placing the glitter glue wherever I'm going to want the glitter and I'm using the NYX one in the shade bronze and hello to my happy birthday plate I'm pretty much using this just to catch out any fallout I would use a napkin but the white throws off the um um, lighting so there you go that's my explanation so I'm using tapping motions at first and for whatever reason this this particular glitter was a little harder than used to use the compared to the teal one I used in my last video but I had to go in multiple times pack it on and then I found myself swiping as you can see here ever so slightly to get it even more intense and then so that it's not very sharp and you can see exactly where I just placed the glitter I kind of create an ombre effect by flicking it out into the transition shades and then then I go on and seal the glue or seal the glitter so to say with some glitter glue on top so it doesn't go anywhere. 
And this step isn't necessary, but I'm just kind of, um, I guess, tight lining, if you want to call it, with the Tardis Clay Liner. You don't have to do that, but I just did for my specific eye shape. And then I'm going in with my favorite liquid liner, which is the NYC Liquid Liner here. I don't think I've ever taken the time to show you guys how I do my wing liner, but basically I start in the inner corner and I do small brush-like motions towards the outside, and once I get to the wing, I flick it ever so lightly. I don't hardly put any pressure on the wing, just because this liquid liner is so pigmented, um, you really could take the pressure off and still have a nice, dark, and intense black liner. So here, I just slowly build it up, and that is my one of my uh, tricks to getting a nice wing liner, you just build it up as you go. And so here I'm just using the Smashbox Under Eye Primer to clean up any glitter glue. It just works well because it's priming at the same time. And for my face primer, I'm using the Smoothing Clean Slate by Tarte and then a combination of those two foundations for my foundation. I did those off camera so we can move back onto the eyes if you guys want like us a uh, foundation routine or whatever whatnot you can let me know in uh, in the comments down below but here I'm just taking the Costa Rich eye coal from Mac and then I'm blending it out with a pencil brush and then I took a little bit of the um, I think it was cocoa bear and smudged it out a little bit and here is where I'm starting to create that like cat eye winged liner that's really intense I took the Tardis clay liner I love the brush that comes with this and I love the liner itself because it's so creamy and I just tight lined with it and I kind of extended it and then I took a little bit more eyeshadow and smoked out the lower edges and then go in with your favorite mascara I'm using the perfect one here in this shot and then I'm pretty sure I use Laura Geller's Gilded Honey for my highlight I apologize for not showing that but I'm almost 99% 100% positive now we're moving on to the lips and we're using cork by dose of colors in their liquid lipstick I am obsessed madly in love with this color it is such a pretty like orangey brown I have nothing like it in my collection so I'm here filling in my um, my lips with this color and then I go a little overboard so I clean it up with a small lip brush but once you have finished doing that the look is complete I really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below and I'll see you next time